All right, and we're back. So this is what the add an account uh, screen looks like. And as you can see, you can add Windows Live, which includes um, you know Hotmail accounts. You can add um, Outlook, so an Exchange account, which I'm gonna be adding in in just a couple of minutes. Uh, you can add in Yahoo Mail, Google, or any other form of a POC or IMAP account. So um, there's a lot of great flexibility here um, right out of the gate. So if you have a Gmail account, uh, you can just basically go ahead and add it in and then boom, you're kind of done. Now. The only two things I've done on the phone so far are to add my Windows Live ID and my Microsoft, uh, sorry, my, my Facebook um, ID. And there's a couple things that are kind of interesting. So the first thing is uh, right down here, you see that there's a, uh, a me tile. And these are actually all of the updates that I've made on um, Facebook, for instance, uh, that have been linked over to, uh, to Windows Live. Although I think in this case, it's, it's actually just pulling from Facebook uh, directly. The other interesting thing is that when I go over here to uh, people, um, I can see basically you know a whole bunch of updates from other people that have posted things on um, on Facebook and then uh, you can see as well these are all of my contacts um, on Facebook and I'll just see let me see if I can go into something that doesn't have yeah see so here, here's something that, that doesn't have um, doesn't have any uh, real profile information just an email address so um, yeah this gives you kind of that direct uh, information now the other couple things you can do here is um, you can do uh, you can you can add comments to things that people have posted on Facebook and then you can also you can also like a comment right um, so you I can just click on like and then it'll come up and say boom now I don't know if you noticed that up here. Let me let me just find something else uh, to like. Here we go. Here's a post by uh, Michael Gartenberger. Uh, sorry, Mike, Michael Gartenberg. Now up here, you see those little blue dots uh, that go by the screen. That's basically the new kind of hourglass. So it's kind of interesting. It does. It it's sort of. Uh, sometimes you have to wait for things. Like I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. Uh, click on this and then I'm, I'm gonna click on like, but I want you to look at the top of the screen there, you see those little blue dots. Now what's kinda cool about those blue dots is that rather than having an hourglass or sort of making you wait, it sort of pushes that updating process into the background and um, as you do things, the information just kinda flows, flows onto the screen essentially. So yeah, now, uh, so I showed you the people tab. Uh, if I go in here to email setup, this is where I would set up my uh, my exchange account and things like that. And I'm gonna do a separate video uh, to talk about some of the apps in more detail. This is just sort of a basic overview. Um, I can go in here to uh, Internet Explorer. So this is the web browser. Now I'm connected over uh, Rogers, uh, the Rogers network in Canada, uh, which is the 3G uh, network. And I can go over here to uh, you know to load up some tips, and as you can see, there's a progress indicator, and I can click on you know learn more, and yeah, that's basically the browser. I'll do a separate video about again about the apps, but I wanted to show you that uh, this does in fact work. Now it doesn't support Flash, but um, I don't know if the, is that Silverlight. It's kind of interesting because. I don't think, I'm, I'm quite sure, in fact, I, I know it doesn't support Flash, but clearly it's playing a video, so I'm gonna assume that that's gonna be Silverlight, but I'm gonna have to look into that. Now, I should point out, um, of course, that this does support landscape and uh, portrait, and as you can see, it's uh, it's relatively quick when it when it comes to switching. Um, I think it's it's a, li a little bit better kind of when, when you look at the home screen. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this, no, sorry, the home screen does not rotate. So again, it's kind of one of those sort of weird things. Some things rotate and some things don't rotate, uh, I'll go in here into Xbox Live, and what should happen here, you'll see how it says updating up in the corner there, and in a couple seconds here, after this updating is finished, we should see my avatar here uh, on, the, uh, on the game tab, so it still says it's updating. Basically what it does is it downloads a copy of the avatar. Yeah, so there's me and my, my cool little, um, uh, what is it, uh, Spike TV's Deadliest Warrior um, armor so that's basically the samurai armor because I thought it was pretty sweet um, you can go in here this is where this is where you're, you're gonna find games now the marketplace is not yet set up so I'm filming this uh, I think today is the 19th everything kind of goes public with Windows Phone 7 tomorrow so some of these things are not actually uh, here yet but just as an example I, I'm pretty sure Frogger's here so I'll click on Frogger um, I'll see. I'll see Frogger. I can go in here. I can look at. Uh, I can look at some screenshots. Uh, I'm pretty sure I tapped on. Yeah, there we go. So I can look at screenshots. So they come up nice and full screen. I can thumb my way through. 
if you've used uh, Windows Phone Marketplace on a previous generation Windows Phone, like before seven, you'll you'll immediately realize that this is about a thousand times better. Like it's so much better. I'm gonna click on try. Um, it's asking me to confirm the purchase since this is a free trial. I'll say, yeah, I'll go download. And then boom, what's kind of cool is that it immediately goes into the background if, and, and, and I can keep browsing and keep using the phone. If I click on check install, you can see uh, that it's actually downloading. Now, I don't know why they made downloading like a two point font. Um, kind of weird, but I guess basically they want, maybe they wanted to fit it all in one line. But yeah, I'll just kind of ignore that for a second and it will keep downloading. I have the calendar app here. Again, it's you know very kind of Spartan, really simple interface, but it's really fast and really easy to use. Um, take a quick look at pictures here. And the nice thing about pictures is this may look familiar to you if you've ever used a Zoom HD. So the Zoom HD, uh, they basically took the same kind of interface language for the Zoom HD. So as you can see, uh, really nice, you know, uh, it's nice and fast. Nice uh, screen resolution. The screen resolution on all these phones right now is uh, 800 by 480. Is the uh, it's WVGA is is the screen resolution. As you can tell, uh, this yeah. So this hub doesn't go into landscape mode even if I slide out the keyboard. So hubs actually don't work in landscape mode, but other things. Um, will we'll work in landscape mode like the different applications. So right now it, it, you can see it's the little blue dot. So it's actually downloading uh, new information from Facebook that uh, relates to pictures. And I can go over here, click on all. Um, I can have the camera roll and then boom, you see right now it just downloaded um, a whole bunch of my Windows Live and my Facebook albums. So this is really cool because this is all just flowing down kind of like a waterfall directly from Facebook and Windows Live servers and this allows me to uh, you know take a look at my pictures now. Right now that's kind of a low res picture and then boom, it snapped into place, now it's high res. This next picture uh, is, is also high res. Again, just, just a really, really nice interface. And again, what's so seamless about this, you know, Microsoft has been uh, criticized a little bit for, you know, uh, relying kind of on the Facebook integration. But, you know, honestly, for if you're a Facebook user and you have pictures up there and you like sharing with your friends, this is just beautiful. It's really a no-brainer. Now, again, it, it also taps into, um, yeah, there was a little error there. I'm not sure what that was about. Maybe I was going a bit too fast. It also taps into Windows Live. So if you're using Windows Live, it's great. I would love to see uh, this particular service tap into like smug mug or other services you know so I'm sure Microsoft's gonna go ahead and grow that another thing is music and videos there's nothing in here right now I'm gonna do a PC sync later in, in a different video but uh, yeah this is basically Zune right so this is your entire Zune music experience if you have a Zune pass you can stream you know millions of music tracks directly to your phone for free you know for 15 bucks a month and you get to keep 10 of those so again real simple uh, real real compelling stuff we have that, we have Marketplace, which I, I already kind of showed you, but now that application, um, I'm sorry, actually, this is Marketplace, so these are actually the apps. So what I showed you before was the uh, Xbox Live Hub, which has apps, but this is actually where you'll be able to go in and see apps. Now you can see up here, it says, um, Test mode retail apps will be made available starting on October 21st. So that's why this isn't kind of, this isn't 100% what you're seeing here, but the actual software and, their in, and the interface, this is basically how it's gonna be. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna wrap up there for right now. Although, let me point out a couple other things in the hardware that all Windows Phone 7s will have. I mentioned the three buttons, they'll all have that. Some of them will have slide out keyboards, some of them won't. In fact, the, most of them on the market are gonna be um, basically just sort of slab devices, but that also means that they're gonna be thin and quite a few of them will have larger screens. They will all have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And if you've watched any of my other videos before, you'll know that I love, love, love phones that have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This plus Zune plus a decent amount of storage, like say 16 gigs, I really probably won't need to use my Zune HD anymore. I will probably use this, which is which is pretty cool for me. Uh, obviously, they'll all have a power button, and they've all standardized on uh, micro USB. Um, and this is a little bit different than, than mini USB, but micro USB is an industry standard. A lot of different phones use it, and so you go out and buy a couple cables, and you're 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 ready to rock and roll. And um, that's about it. Oh, sorry. They all also have cameras. 
Um, I'll demo the camera app on kind of a different video. So again, this is prototype hardware, so I don't want you to think that this is the final hardware. You can see it rotating back and forth here. But it is important to realize that uh, Windows Phone 7 devices, there's also a volume rocker here, Windows Phone 7 devices will all have the same kind of stuff in common uh, in terms of the hardware, and there's a minimum spec that Microsoft has to meet, and then they add on top of that to make sort of a more compelling video. You can see also that these, these are called live tiles. So you can see my little Xbox Live, my little avatar guy, he pops in, he pops into the side and, and whatnot. I, I think, you know, if memory serves, I think that there's actually, I think, I don't know if this guy falls down or I, I thought, I, I thought there was something kind of cool that the avatar did. Now, may, maybe it's on, I seem to remember hearing something about there being an Xbox Live app that you download and it actually kind of makes this even cooler so maybe that's it because I thought that something was supposed to happen to my avatar or there was there was something about being able to interact with your avatar so I'll have to get more information on that but you can see Frogger which I downloaded uh, is actually ready to go and it'll load up the app and boom I'm ready to play so as you can tell this is this phone has a lot more in common with uh, the iPhone and some newer phones than any previous Windows mobile phone for some people People, that's that's not quite what they're looking for but for a lot of people myself included this is a great kind of social networking phone it's a great business phone for email I'll show you that later but yeah so this has been Jason Dunn from Windows Phone Thoughts I'm gonna wrap up this video but as you can tell there's a lot to cover here so I'm gonna shoot more videos and uh, stay tuned thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and post a comment if you have one